Hey everyone, what's up? Today I'm going to show you guys how to get this super easy French manicure for just seven bucks at home. So what I'm going to be using today is the Kiss brand nails. If you're unfamiliar, this is my favorite brand of nails, Kiss brand. I'm going to show you the number in the corner because this does make a difference when ordering. Um, it will make a difference for the size and the color of the nail. So what comes in this nail kit will be your glue, your cuticle stick, and then also your two-sided nail file. So you don't have to worry about running out and getting anything. And I got these from Amazon, so I will link them down below so that you guys can get them too. So it does come with 28 nails that has different sizes, so they will fit your nail. You see how this is pink? How the bed of the nail looks pink? This is what you want to get to make it look like a more natural color. If you get the one that looks white, then you can definitely tell they're like glue on nails. With this set, you cannot tell because the pink is going to kind of blend in to the natural color of your nail. I'm about to show you all a really cool trick that I don't know that anyone's, that a lot of people might not know. You see this hole right here in the thing that the nails came in? This is to hold your nail glue while you're doing your nails. So you just stand it up right here. Obviously, you'll have the lid off, but once you get done painting the glue on one of the nails, you just stand it right back here and then your glue won't go anywhere. So the first thing I do is dump them all out and then flip them over and then I can look and tell which ones are going to be too big and too small right off hand. So I go ahead and put those to the side. So all of these do have tabs on the end as you can see and they're numbered. So you can go through and see which nail fits your actual nail and then you can just match up the numbers and lay those to the side. Always make sure you're, you're going all the way down to the cuticle. So you can make sure there's no space at the back or the sides to be sure that it does fit correctly. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this to all of them and set mine out so that they will be all nice and ready for me to put them on and it won't be like pick and choose as I'm gluing them on. Okay, so now that I have all of those lined up, I'm going to show you the best way to apply the glue and apply the nails so that you don't get any air bubbles because when you have clear nails like this, you want to be sure you don't have any air bubbles. That's going to be a dead giveaway that these are glued on. So you're going to want to put a very generous amount of glue on the actual plastic nail. You want to rub it so that it's on all of the sides and all the way to the back. And you can also put glue on your natural nail if you want to, but you don't have to. So what you're going to do is you're going to angle it and you're going to start at your cuticle and then start laying it down flat. And I accidentally got out of the frame with that one, so I'm going to show you with another one as well. So we're going to go ahead and do the ring finger, put a generous amount of glue, make sure you swipe it up to the sides and the very end. And then you're going to angle it, placing it first at your cuticle and then laying it down flat. You're gonna to wanna to hold them. You can hold them for about five seconds if you want. I do 10 just to be on the safe side, and that is it. Once you lift up your finger, you're gonna see it's perfect. There are no air bubbles whatsoever. And once you have all of them on, then you can take those little tabs off the end. Those just pull right off. And this is what it's going to look like once you take the tabs off. Now, there will be these little plastic pieces on the very ends where you've pulled those tabs off. And you're going to want to file those off. Let me show you up close really quick here. Maybe you can already see. But... If you don't file those off, that's also, not only is it going to scratch the heck out of you, but it's going to be a dead giveaway that you just put press-on nails on. As you can see on the thumbnail there, you can really see that one sticking out. So you want to file those off, make sure those are unseen, and you don't have them because you don't want to scratch yourself.
Once you have all of those tabs filed off, what I do is go in and I file around the sides to make sure that it's not so pointy because I don't like mine super, super square to the point that they're like stabbing me. They can be kind of sharp in that way. And as you can see, I rounded the sides, but they're still super square. And then what I do is I take the nail file and I go underneath the nail and then I file in an upward motion. This kind of buffs it out and gets rid of any jagged edges or any plastic from the nail. See, like right here, just go up, up, up. That literally gets off any of that excess plastic that you filed away or any sharp edges that you have. You just go ahead and do this to all of the nails. And I do an end up making them a lot shorter. Um, I don't like my whites to be this long, but for the sake of the video, I went ahead and just showed you how I filed them down. And now we're gonna see what the finished product looks like. And here's what they look like once you're all done. And again, you can file them down shorter, however short you want them. If you see a white spot in my nail, that is on my natural nail. That is nothing to do with the fake nail. I think these look really great. They will last up to two weeks. And I love them. I've been using them for years. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and watching this video today. I hope you found it helpful or entertaining. I will see you guys very soon with another video. Bye.